Hello Sagittarius! This is your reading for August of 2022. My name is Vicki Verley and I'm the Rock and Roll Prophetess. You can find me at VickiVerley.com. Don't be fooled by imposters. So we are going to do a card reading, that's for sure, but I did want to take a little special extra this month and talk about this Uranus North Node thing for everybody. So we're going to do a little astrology, but then we'll get into the cards afterwards. Uh, this is a big deal for everybody because we're all being called to step outside of our mundane self and step into the future and as a collective, but also as in our personal experience, following our true north, moving into the next realm of existence to the higher levels. So it's really this very, very powerful time. Um, in your case, now this is going to apply mostly, this part of it is going to apply mostly to the Sagittarius Risings, where the card readings will apply for everybody. But if you do know your rising sign, I do really recommend for this astrology part that you watch the video associated with your rising sign. Uh, so this is your Sagittarius, so this is coming in in your sixth house of work, um, work, health, pets, being of service, these kinds of things. So, you know, many of you may be wanting to change jobs at this time. I mean, that's, you know, the, the go-to thing. I need to make a, a little noise here for just a second. You know, many of you may be wanting to, you know, take, change jobs. I mean, that's highly likely. Uh, you may be sick of your job. You may want to step out on your own and be, you want to be more free in your work. So maybe it does that, what does that look like? That might look like being a freelance worker. That might look like, um, you know, uh, working, starting your own business, working for yourself, something along those lines. Now, this thing is making this powerful square to Saturn in Aquarius, and that is coming out of your third house. So both the Saturn and the node for everybody, this is very much karmic things. And the energy of this is Saturn will push you. So if, if you're in the wrong place, Saturn will try to push you into the, into the right lane or into the right career or into the right relationship or whatever it might be. While Saturn is pushing, the Uranian energy is pulling us into the future. So Saturn shows us what we don't like and can make things difficult in order for us to make a change. And then the Iranian energy is, is saying, inviting us, come here, come hither. <laughs> so um, third house is the house of communications. It's a house of communication, so there could be some news. There could be some verbal things that are said, then you're just like, well, if that's the case, then, you know, I'm, I'm going to start looking for another job. Or if that's the case, you know, blah, blah, blah. If somebody could come up and say, you know, there could be some verbiage or verbalization or conversations, texts, whatever, messaging that you don't like. You know, that could absolutely be. But that would only be to push you in that direction. Saturn is not always the bad guy, though. Saturn can be, you know, the, the word you've been waiting to hear. Could be coming from, you know, some kind of a Saturnian type of a situation, a person or institution, like an older person or somebody who is, um, you know, old, old time like institution or some kind of, pay, you know, something, a big company or something that's been there for a long time. But, um, you know, it's being, it's calling you to move in the future. The other thing is with your health, now you may want to, maybe some of you will have, you know, a big breakthrough if some of you have been long suffering with some kind of health thing. And these don't have to be mutually exclusive. If you're miserable in your job, sometimes that can even, you know, affect your health. So it could be affect your health and then you get this new, you get out of that situation, you get in the new situation and your health improves also. Some of you may be getting a pet. And that could be this pet is really yours and, you know, destined destined to be yours and destined to be with you, you know. Okay, let's get some cards going here. I'm going to set this chart aside. We're going to move this aside. We're going to move this aside and this aside. <laughs> All these good, a lot of things happening here. And we'll just keep that up there for the time being, for the duration of the reading. Okay, we're, gonna, we're using the third edition here of the Rock and Roll Tarot deck. You can find that on... Uh, through the Game Crafter, and there's links below in the description or on my website if you're interested in getting one for yourself. Uh, let's see what's coming up for a Sagittarius Sun, Rising Moon, or anyone with prominent Sagittarius in their chart for the month of August of 2022. This card wanted to come out, so you're seeing your path, you're seeing your vision, you're seeing the direction that you want to go, you're being shown. 
and there's more money involved with it too. Maybe a collaboration or some sort of a partnership with this Queen of Pentacles here. Uh, by the way, um, let me turn off that bright light. We're getting a little glare. Let's do that. And then let's turn the whole thing a little so we get a more uh, alignment here. Okay, that's better. All right, so, you know, maybe... Um, I totally forgot what I was talking about because <laughs> I looked up at the viewfinder and everything was all wonky. <laughs> We'll, we'll get back there somehow. So this this is also, this is a card of seeing your path, seeing the way you want to go, but it's also aligned with the uh, Queen of Pentacles. Now there's no gender in these readings. That was the thing I was going to tell you. There's no gender in these readings. So even though this is representing as a feminine energy, it does not necessarily have to be. Another thing is with this deck, allow the words and things, the colors and shapes to stand out to you and zoom in because that is the way that your spirit guides can communicate directly to you, and you can get a personal message out of this general reading. But this looks like, you know, definitely some kind of a very strong partnership. Now, I mean, we're right in line with the lovers, so for some of you, a lot of you probably, this could be a, a you know, a big love relationship kind of a thing. Um, earth sign energy we're looking at here. So the earth sign energy is Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Now, where is this alignment happening over here in Taurus? So, by the way, that alignment is going to be exact right at the first of the month, like right on July 31st to August 1st, but we're going to feel the effects. We're already feel, feeling them now in late July as I'm filming these videos, and we're going to feel them going into August, I would say all the way up to the August 11th full moon in Aquarius. I, I feel like we'll feel it all the way through there. Uh, so... This could be, you know, around that time frame uh, with the Taurus energy. Uh, there's also going to be a new moon in Virgo and Earth sign all the way at the end of the month on the 27th. So we might be looking at that time frame as well. The sun enters Virgo on the 22nd of the month. So it could be, for some of you, that could be a key date too. We've got the twos here, but 22nd. Uh, there's some money coming to you, or you're going to need some money. This person, for some of you, could be an investor. They might be an investor. They say, "Hey, kid, I like what you're. I like what you're thinking. I like what you're doing. I'm going to give you. I'm going to fund the project. I'm going to give you some money. Just do the startup. So that could be really cool. For some of you, this is somebody from the past. It's either a person from the past, or an institution from the past, or a situation from the past where you did not, you were not successful. So don't be so quick to naysay something like. Well, you could go, you know, try apply for this grant again. And don't be like, well, I applied last time and I didn't get it, so screw it, I'm not doing it anymore. No, maybe this is the right time that you could do it. You know, it feels like there was something that was disappointing at one point that could turn around and really be something positive now. You do have the sun energy. I mean, the sun energy is all about... You are really giving off this vibe. You know, you're really giving off a vibe. You're really shining. You're really glowing. You know, thing, people are very much attracted to you. And if you are looking for love, this could absolutely be in the area of love because that sun is right next to that lovers. So that would say, you know, people are attracted to you. But for some reason, you seem to be, uh, you, you're worrying. You seem to not believe that about, some of you may, may not believe that about yourself. Well, you better believe it, Sagittarius, because it's showing all over you. You've got the sun, you've got the lovers, you've got the two of rods, you see where you're going. You've got the three of rods, your success is eminent. It's coming. It's, it's on the horizon. It's, it's, it's already on the way. Um, and maybe because, you know, a lot of you have been struggling for some time now, it looks like. You know, maybe you've been struggling. And, you, you know, that's not usual, usually... This, the Sagittarius way either because you guys are usually you're so upbeat and you know happy and optimistic about everything but I think for some of you you've really been through some serious stuff here you will rise again I'm going to put that that came through so clear right from the guys let me move this deck out of the way you will rise again they came through with that so no matter what the deal here you will rise again you will rise again and no time like this. I mean, talk about rise. We, we will all rise during, we all have the potential to rise during this Uranus uh, Aquarius whole thing. All right, I'm going to move on to the next thing. So you are fire energy. So you're going to be represented here either with the king, queen, or knight of rods. So, or, uh, what else they call them, wands. 
So any three of those cards is going to show up. That's going to represent you, and then we're going to really hone in on the cards that are surrounding that particular card, because that could tell us more about the energy that is surrounding you. All right, so let's go ahead and shuffle up. I want to let everybody know real quickly that I am open up for the ingress reading. These are these quarterly seasonal readings. They're available for a limited time. They're always very popular. And it's a look ahead at the upcoming season. It's astrology based, but it's a psychic reading. So, you know, it doesn't matter where you get it from. So you can use cards. You can use uh, the best stuff comes through just from the guides, no tools involved, you know. But anyways, I do these all the time. They're very popular. Did you have Six of Cups before? No, this is Five. Somebody else had a Six of Cups. Something's coming. Some kind of money showing up here for you, uh, Sagittarius. Look at this. Keep doing what you love doing because there's going to be a breakthrough. And you get this Nine of Swords twice. Get out of those dumps. It's not the end all. It's only it's only a minor setback. It could be Saturn. There you are. You're the king. You're showing up as the king. It it could be Saturn pushing you to go to the next level. And you've got soulmates involved here. Didn't you have soulmates? You had lovers in the first part. Now you got the soulmate cards. So you're not alone in this journey, uh, Sag. I was gonna say Leo. So there, there might be a Leo around too. I was going to say Leo, but also here's another thing about Leo. We're going to be in the sign of Leo for the majority of this forecast period. We're going to be in the sign of Leo until the 22nd of this, so it's even a little later than usual. But um, and they're talking about this Leo moon here too now, or the fire sign moon. We are having a new moon in Leo, but it's at the very end of um, the very end of July, like the 28th or 29th or something. So it's at the very end of July, but so, but that energy absolutely is going to carry in or be you know present. That new moon will be or full moon, excuse me, will be kicking off. Uh, no, it's the new moon in Leo. I was right the first time. New moon in Leo will be kicking off the vibes for the upcoming month of August, and the Leo energy will be present. So, if you're watching this before that time frame, if you're watching this in the in July, you know make sure that you really you know setting your intentions and honing in on that Leo new moon. I mean, you've got Ten of Cups here. You've got Soulmate and Ten of Cups. So if anybody is looking for love, there's definitely been quite a few cards showing up here with uh, love vibes going on. You know, so you could meet somebody. All of these cards are not gender specific also. Okay, so if you're, you know, it, this one shows as female, the rest are male. It doesn't have to pan out that way. It could be any, any gender under the sun. Uh, but the, the bigger message here is look at all these people that are joining around you. And you do have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, it's the marriage card. But it's all the Ten of Cups is all inclusive. It's inclusive of everybody in the family. It's a whole group coming together, the whole family. The Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, reaching the pinnacle of success and also reaching the pinnacle of, um, you know, having your peeps, having your tribe, your happiness. For some of you, there may be a death in the family or something, and that might be why we're all coming together. But I feel like if there is a death in the family, this is not a surprise. This isn't, because nobody seems too broken up. You know, it's not a shocker. It might be somebody who's been lingering and hanging on for a long time, a very elderly person, or somebody who's been really sick for a long time. And I feel that here, too. I feel like that's true for somebody out there, and you're feeling a lot of guilt because you're, you know, you may be at the point where you're just wishing, you know, it's, it's very hard to watch somebody die a slow death. I did it. I know my mom died of cancer. You know, it's a, it's a very hard thing to uh, watch that and be involved in that. And you do get those thoughts of, you know, not that, I would, it's not like, oh, I wish they would die already, get out of my life. It's just like, you know, you want to see their suffering come to an end. You I mean, everybody has those kind of thoughts, and it's not anything to be feel ashamed of. Um, but it's, there will be a release, and I would, that's the thing. Whatever is causing the stress and worry, there will be a, there will be a relief. That, that, you know, that's what, a release and a relief, both. But with the Iranian energy, you know, that's definitely a release. Because this is so, the first part of that reading with all these heavy and these, that's so out of character for Sagittarius because you guys are always so upbeat. But, you know, many of you, you might have some Capricorn in your chart. You know, there's, 
there's always there's always exceptions. Not everybody fits into that mold, you know. All right, let's go ahead and get our animal totem together here for our Sagittarius friends for the month of August of 2022. The woodpecker, opportunity knocks. Opportunity is knocking at your door. I'm hearing that knocking at your back door. So, you know, with the Iranian energy, it could be knocking at the back door or the side door. You know, it could be coming in in a way really not expected at all. But answer the call. I felt that here, too. Like, answer that call. What was I thinking of? Something in here I was feeling like, you know, answer that call. Return that email. Answer that text. Don't, you know, leave no stone unturned is what the guides are coming through with. Okay, wrapping tapping from the forest canopy overhead, undetected if not for the sound. Listen, primal rhythms awaken your heart to the earth song. Yeah, some of you might be doing some primal rhythming here too. <laughs> Sanitarius, you got all the stuff everywhere. Uh, yeah, there could be some primal rhythms happening for sure for our Sanchis. <laughs> All right, everyone, I want to thank you for tuning in. Hey, if you enjoy my content, please do hit that subscribe button. It helps me out so much. And one more thing, with the school year, back to school time, I want to break out. I have, this is just a few examples of the many designs I have on journals. This is all my original artwork. And they're journals, they're line pages, and then they're sketchbooks that are just, you know, the blank pages. Uh, they're available through Amazon, very reasonable. I think they're $5.99 or something. So if you're shopping for back to school and you want to have something cool, this is only a, f a small sampling. Now, this is not under my main name of Vicki Verley on Amazon. These are under VV Creative because I literally have hundreds of designs and I didn't want to clog up the Vicki Verley, uh, which is all my books that you read. These are, you know, just empty journals and stuff. So, it, it, But you can find the link directly below or in the, on my website, you know, to the journals. It's through Amazon's VV Creative. Um, lastly, I wanted, I'm coming out with the Uranian North Node and we're moving into Space Age. I wanted to... Um, I put it up on my website a while ago, but you would never find it unless you were looking for it. But I wrote this book 10 years ago, in 2012. I wrote it under a pen name of V.M. Lariv because I wasn't ready to come out about all the alien stuff and everything. Uh, it's called Starseed, A Pleiadian Tale of Love. Uh, I wrote it in 2012. It's a little rough. I mean, it's a novella. It's about 150 pages, 169 pages. Um, so it's a short story almost, you might say. Um, I wanted to get it out before the, the 2012, the whole thing in 2012, the big uh, Mayan calendar thing, um, the winter solstice and all that. But um, So, you know, I kind of rushed through it, uh, but there was a lot of really cool uh, downloads and synchronicities while I was writing this book. And uh, there's lots more, okay? This is the first book that could go on. I mean, I already have, I had a whole notebook at the time of where we could get into, like, walk-ins and time travel and all kinds of stuff. But it's a paranormal romance. I'm not a romance kind of person, but I purposely slanted it that way because at that time that was what was popular. You know, uh, there was all the Sookie Stackhouse books and Twilight, and there was some other ones uh, that were out that were, everybody was into the paranormal romance at that time. And I'm like, well, where's the alien, the Pleiadian paranormal romance? <laughs> so I thought, I'll just have to write it myself. But the reason I bring it up is, number one, maybe some of you are sci-fi people and would be interested in reading it, and that'd be so awesome. You know, I just put it in the Kindle Lending Library. Uh, but number two, if anybody's out there, I always saw this as more of a film or like a TV series, I, and I even see the, the opening scenes and everything, you know. Uh, I always saw it that way. So if anybody out there is looking for material like this or even wants to collaborate to get it into script form or something, you know, uh, definitely get a hold of me because I just I just came across it recently. I'm like, man, I need to tell people about this book. Um, it's 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 rough, but it's a good story, and there, it could go a lot further. So check it out if you're interested, and or all the other stuff by purchasing my different wares and checking all this other stuff. That helps keep this channel going and helps keep me putting out the free videos every month for year after year after year. All right, uh, I was going to say Pleiadian people are up next. <laughs> well, maybe they will be, but actually it's the Patreon people that are going to be up next. <laughs> so if you want to get in on that, you can find the information below. Hey, if you like my content, please hit that subscribe button. It does help me out oh so much, as does purchasing all the various things that I have. Remember that you are Love and Beauty Incarnate. Have a great... 
uh, August. A lot of energy shifting and happening, but I think it looks like some really nice stuff's in store for you, Sagittarius. You're really moving into some positive energy. Okay, thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye.